Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Learn With Me. I'm Deborah Hansen, and today we're going to be looking at AP Psychology 3.9 Key Terms. But before we get started, just want to say thanks to everybody who's hit that subscribe button and that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Seeing the numbers go up is really fun, and I love doing the videos, and I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to go out to Unit 4 next, and then 5, and then do some other AP content and SAT content as well for the channel. So hopefully you're enjoying it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to hear, get the notifications when the new videos come up. That would be really great. So let's get started with 3.9 social, cognitive, and neurological factors in learning. So 3.9 had two CED questions for it. So we have already gone through those questions in detail in two other videos with the essential knowledge that the College Board wants you to know and lots of information. So if you want to know more about this one, you've got to go to those separate videos because today we're just going to look at the key terms that are associated with the two CED questions in this section of Unit 3. First question was explain how social learning applies to behavior and mental processes. And the second one is explain how cognitive factors in learning apply to behavior and mental processes. So we're going to go over a few key terms for these two questions. And like I said, I go into a whole lot more detail about that on separate videos. Okay, let's start with observational learning. Observational learning, the definition is learning by observing and imitating the behavior of others without direct reinforcement. For example, a child learns how to tie their shoes by watching a parent. Vicarious reinforcement. This is learning through observing the positive consequences of someone else's behavior. So for example, a student is more likely to participate in class after observing another student receive praise for doing so. Vicarious punishment. This is learning through observing the negative consequences of someone else's behavior. So for example, a child refrains from breaking rules after seeing a sibling punished for the same behavior. Insight learning. This is a form of learning where the solution to a problem suddenly comes to mind without trial and error or reinforcement. It's also called the aha moment. A person suddenly realizes how to solve a puzzle they've been struggling with. Aha. Latent learning. Learning that occurs without immediate reinforcement, but is demonstrated when there is an, an incentive. A rat explores a maze and forms a mental map, but only demonstrates knowledge of the maze when the food is introduced. Cognitive map. This is a mental representation of the layout of an environment developed through experience. So for example, a person can navigate their neighborhood based on cognitive map they've formed over time. Social learning theory. This is a theory proposed by Albert Bandura that suggests that people can learn through observation, imitation, and modeling without direct reinforcement. So children can learn aggressive behavior, behaviors by watching aggressive models, such as was demonstrated in Bandura's Bobo doll experiment. Modeling. This is the process of observing and imitating the behavior of a role model. A child learns to cook by watching their parents prepare meals in the kitchen. Okay, so let's go through them just to make sure you have them all. Check your cards, check your notes, whatever you want. You can pause it and see if you remember what the definition is or what the example is to go with it. That will just make sure that you remember these for the exam. Okay, here we go. Observational learning. Vicarious reinforcement. Vicarious punishment. Insight learning. Latent learning. Cognitive map. Social learning theory. Modeling. Okay, that's all I have for the key terms for 3.9. Like I said, if you want more information, go to this channel and you can find the videos where I go through the CED questions with all the essential knowledge you're gonna need for 3.9 and to also complement unit three, obviously. If you like the content, please hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. And I'll say thank you for today and see you next time.